Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So today, we're going to be testing out the Galan's convection microwave slash air fryer thing. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bandit? So essentially, if you're kind of thinking about getting a new microwave, this functions as a microwave. Then it also functions kind of like a toaster oven. So it's got a bake function on there. It also has an air fry which I think just moves the air around a little bit more. Then you can do microwave and convection. So both the microwave runs and it like switches over to like the heating element and moving air around. And on deck, we've got some spicy chicken nuggets. So each one's got seven nuggets on the plate. They're about equal. I burned it. And the thought process is to essentially try the bake function, which I'm thinking would be similar to like an air fry, especially if you leave it on the plate. Then we'll do a microwave only and a microwave and convection. So first sets in, we'll go to bake, 350 degrees. I'm thinking four minutes, maybe. Now with the bake setting, it's going to be one of those things, just like if you were put it in the oven, it's going to take a long time. So one, you got to kind of heat up the air around it, and then you've actually got to wait for the air to start heating up items. So that's going to take a little bit. And then with the microwave one, that one should be faster. My prediction is that the baked one at four minutes isn't going to be quite fully warm, even though it's a really small area, but it might still be plenty hot. I don't know. The microwave, I'm willing to bet you nuke this for a minute, they're going to be good and hot, but the underside is probably going to be soggy. And then with the microwave and convection, it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm not thinking it'll be in the full four minutes. I'm thinking, you know, maybe we'll only do it about two and a half, two minutes. So you'll sacrifice a little bit in terms of the time, but you'll have hopefully a crisper product when it's done. And then, of course, the nice thing is that with that small kind of area inside the microwave oven, if you are doing a bake or like a roast or something like that kind of situation, you're only heating up this small area as opposed to heating up a full-on stove. So it should get a little bit farther along in the cooking process, a little bit faster, maybe using a little bit less energy. And then something else that you probably need to pay attention to that I didn't notice before, is that this is on preheat. So yeah, the four minutes might take a little bit longer. It might be nice and preheated, and maybe this is only gonna need a shorter amount of time because it's been preheating the food the entire time. <laughs> and then it looks like it just got full temp, so it says, you know, add food. So we're just gonna pretend that we're adding food. I'm going to check the nuggets real quick. They're not quite too hot to touch, but they are quite warm. So, pretty sure it's not going to need the full four to get them good and hot. And also not the foods in there. It seems like the fan or some type of noise has kind of calmed down just a little bit. So you can hear it's a little bit quieter now. It's just about done kind of one of those things I wish I would have timed how long it took to preheat. I would say it took at least four minutes to preheat if not a little bit longer because I was kind of sitting here going this has been a minute. So looks like it's done and it kicked on a fan so I don't know if the fan is to try and blow the excess heat out or what exactly. But you can hear the fan going pretty good in there. Go ahead and grab her out. Let's see, it says fan. Plate's quite warm. And looks like we'll let that sit and warm up a bit and then this one we'll go ahead and put this one in 
So just microwave real quick. Or actually, we'll redo this. Instead of the microwave, we'll do the little bit longer microwave and convention one. Seeing as it's, it's probably already preheated. So microwave and convection, 350. Let's go two minutes. Cause I'm thinking, well, so there's two minutes. I'm thinking that'll be pretty long. At least with both the microwave function and the hot inside. So it'll be interesting to see if it gets it twice as hot. <laughs> or as hot twice as fast. And I'm kind of debating because I said 230. 230 kind of sounds like a good mix. So yeah, we'll bump that up. You can hear the same noise it kind of makes when the oven's running now. So, and then now it's switching over to microwave. Temperature wise, this one's up to 138. So, hopefully we're all good to go with that. Plate's very hot. Chicken seems good. So a little bit soft on the bottom side. Not too bad though. Outside, so top and sides are still pretty crunchy. Bottom sides, just a little bit of like a moisture to it. So not too bad really. Ooh, it's hot. But definitely what you would almost expect, it had to throw it in a big ol' oven. Hush, shadow. You want in the video too? He's like, only if you can give me crazy eyes, Dad. Only if you can give me crazy eyes. Alright, so this got done pretty quick. Plate is hot. Plate is hot. Fans running again. Stabbeth the We'll let that warm up a little bit. Grab this. Oh, so shadow. So it does feel kind of warm in there, but this one we'll go ahead and throw in. I'm not a microwave cooking expert, so we're going to say just two minutes because it's 30 seconds less than the last one. And start. Hot bond it. So this is up to 156.2, so pretty warm. This is more breaded feeling so this is like the the one in the oven kind of must have dried it out just a touch or something like that so this is still kind of moist ish feeling breaded underneath a little bit damper but it definitely seems way more juicy than that is so maybe that's some of it so not quite as crispy as the oven baked but still good and warm and you don't want to touch the plate, the plate is hot! <laughs> Microwave, definitely the quietest out of all of them. Because it doesn't have like that oven kind of weird noise it makes. I don't want to say it's a grinding noise, but it's like a, you know, something's definitely going on noise. <laughs> microwave, pretty much simple. Fan blowing, food popping inside, normal microwave noises. I don't even know why I shaved off 12 seconds. Could have just left it running. <laughs> All right. Woo, it is bubbly. So you can see much different appearance than the other ones were. 
The other ones didn't really have that juice kind of stuff squirting out kind of situation. Much more softer. Oh, yep, super wet and damp feeling. Then, let's see where we're at. Plates, hot, but I would not say as hot as the other ones were. So, looking at rate of this going up, I would say really probably could have nuked this a little bit longer. And again, this is coming off of just this long thermometer thing. So really, how much of it is it reading accurately wise? So I'm willing to bet there's a bit of error in it. Because it's only reading that wee little bit there. So up about the same as the bake. Not nearly as hot as the microwave and the convection one. So, but... Fastest out of all of them, messiest out of all of them, I would say in the, like the grease or whatever cooked out of them. Soggiest, so that breading is definitely very soft. <laughs> this breading is still very much good breading, so, and then oven wise, the oven one was very dry breading, so hopefully it's not very dry chicken. So not super dry. Try this one. Much juicier than the bake one. The breading has a good texture still to it though. And now this one. Let's see how hot this is. Oh, it's like chewing rubber. Ooh. So that even took a little bit to eat. So yeah, this made them pretty rubbery. Definitely one of those things where I really like the ability to do both the convection and the microwave because it heats it up at a reasonable amount of time. And then you don't dry stuff out like this. And maybe you don't rubberize the chicken <laughs> like you do with a pure microwave. So this was kind of an interesting mix. And it's nice that I had all these different ones to try. And kind of offset. That way you're like, okay, cool. This is better than this and that it does this. This is better than this and that it does this. This is better than this and that it does this. So microwave, definitely faster. If you like rubbery chicken nuggets. Microwave con con convection, about 30 seconds longer. But way better turnout. The longest one was the baking. So really looking at 8 to maybe 12 minutes is how long that really took and stuff. And then it dried it out a little bit but it's still pretty much a chicken nugget so all in all i think it came out pretty good now to try a bunch of different sauces <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll check you next time oh the next one is so rubbery too i don't know if they're even worth eating sorry boys they're spicy chicken nuggets And essentially, we'll try baking them, we'll try air frying them,